Hey, Jacob here, Pusher. If you drive an LOI Duramax equipped GM truck, you may or may not be aware of some of the shortcomings of the factory charge system components. Most notably is the intake bridge I have here in my hand. This bridge has two major flaws. First and foremost is the float uh, characteristics. We'll get to that in a second. Um, the other is a two-piece design that it is. This guy basically has the bridge that connects your cylinder heads and then your inlet. And these guys just kind of slip together with no ring seal and that's it. And so this relies on the other components on the engine to hold it together. And so the cylinder heads hold the bridge in place and then your upper manifold in conjunction with your EGR cooler that's normally here hold the inlet in place. And so a really common mod for these trucks is an EGR delete which usually involves removing the EGR cooler. And then when you do that, you basically lose your mode of securing your inlet in place. And so as soon as you go start making boost for the truck, this inlet tends to pop out of the bridge, which leaves you with a massive boost leak, which in turn generally leaves you on the side of the road. And so that's a, definitely a problem area. The flow side of things comes in at, basically our inlet here is sized at 2.1 inches in diameter. Uh, it's definitely not a good match for the power making potential these motors have. Fortunately, the intercoolers on these trucks have a three inch inlet and outlet. So we match that with all of our charge system components. Even after you come through our inlet here and we hit our bridge, the air has no form of uh, guidance at all. It basically needs to come in and go left or right and it just hits a flat wall there. And so this guy really is not up to par with the flow uh, demand these engines have, especially with a tune. So we recognized that pretty early on when we started modifying these engines and we developed what we call our Supermax Y bridge. You can see this is a true Y design. This was the first and remains to be the only Y design since we released it in 2014. This is totally built out of TIG welded three inch manual bent tubing with CNC flanges. Um, this is made in our facility here in the US. You can see it's in our gloss blue powder coat. We stock this in six colors as well as a natural finish option for guys doing custom colors underneath the hood and they wanna match that. You can get the natural finish parts and do that yourself. This guy here is not a 100% bolt-in piece for this as they sit by themselves. You can see we use a more standard style slip connection that's generally used in more you know, normal turbo systems. This is gonna fit any standard three inch coupler that obviously does not have a two pole design that the factory piece does. If you're looking for a totally drop-in setup, we do have the full Supermax intake system that comes with the full three inch manual bent tube that goes down to the uh, outlet of the intercooler. That's intended for a more factory style truck. This is sold separately for guys doing swaps and things of that nature, maybe putting a Duramax on a Camaro or a C10 uh, truck. This takes care of the really hard, you know, intricate type work in building that custom charge system for those guys doing that. Then they can just, you know, focus on building their charge tubes that go to and from the intercooler. A really cool feature above and beyond, you know, the whole design of this is the uh, O-ring groove here, we utilize the same factory style O-ring uh, gaskets that the bridges do. That's really nice, especially when you're building a vehicle. A lot of times you have to take things on and off a couple times. The O-rings tend not to get damaged at all when you do that versus a more standard style rubberized felt gasket or RTV or something like that that you gotta replace every time you, know, you take the part on and off. So those O-rings are really nice in that respect. This guy, when you compare it just to the factory bridge at 600 CFM of flow, it beats it by right at 102% better flow than this. And then if you wanna do the whole kind of factory replacement and, and compare the two intake systems to each other, this guy with this charge tube beat out the factory stuff by 200%. So it's a really nice flow gain. The LOIs really appreciate it. It's a much better match to you know the flow that they need. There's also a lot of other information on the site about this stuff. Go check it out. If you can't find something to answer a question or a concern you have, Give us a call, shoot us an email, we're here for you, and thanks for watching.